Yeah. So now what happens is once we say there's adequate search in my market for the keyword phrases where people are buying keyword phrases for a home inspection company in that area, then we have to have a converting website. So here is your whole goal. OK, this is only goal your website should have. Your sole purpose is to convert visitors into paying customers. That's it. Your website is not to do anything else. So, Brandon, who would your website be for? Would it be for real estate agents? Uh, I think we gear them towards clients, you know, home That's buyers, it. Typically. Home buyers, baby. Home buyers. I don't want you real estate agents on there. Get off of it. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to me in person. Read my articles. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, that's your total goal. Okay. Um, so, people ask me all the time, okay, Ken, I hear you preaching this converting website. What the hell is a converting website? So here's what it is. A uh, website conversion happens when a user completes the desired action on your website, like making a purchase or filling out a contact form. So when we set up your website, we set it up, we have goals. Okay. So branding isn't one of them. Okay. We're not interested in branding. We're interested in sales. Okay. But sometimes what we want to do is offer what's called a lead magnet. So let's say that somebody comes to your website, Brandon, and they're about, they're going to back browser. Okay, when they move their mouse up to back browser, a pop-up pops up and said, hold on, before you go, how about grabbing this home inspection checklist? Mm -hmm. Okay, so did we get a conversion? Yes, because they completed the form and now we have a, we have a lead. Okay, because we can nurture that lead and nurture that lead, and nurture that lead, or they book online or they call you on the phone um, or they text you or what, however you have, whatever your means of response are. So that's a conversion. It doesn't always mean a sale. But it took the, you took the desired action that we as the website owner wanted you to take. And that's a conversion. And we measure conversions. Um, when people go over and uh, start scheduling on the ISN, that's a conversion on your website um, because we want to drive them to the scheduling page. OK, and that's where that goes. And every website should be built to generate conversions. If you if it's built for anything else, it's sad. And Brandon, when you look at websites, I know you and I laugh about websites and we look at other people's websites because they're pathetic, aren't they? I mean, I mean, let's just be honest. We're not going to anybody saying they suck. I mean, I've shared my experience when I first, you know, got into the business. I thought I was super cool because I built my own website. Um, and that thing was about me, you know, and, and that's not what it's about. It's about converting people into paying customers, like you said, and it's not, they're not going to hire me because of, of who I am. They're going to hire somebody who, conveys a certain message that, that's going to fulfill the need that they have, which is to get a good home inspection, not, yeah. not about who brand so, you got. Know, when you think about it, is your goal, okay, so your goal, your sole purpose is to convert visitors into paying customers. Let's just look at that headline for a minute. Okay, when people come into some websites, they say, oh, this is the largest purchase you're ever going to make. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Um, mm -hmm. You know, who's not aware of this? Yeah. Okay, so really, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, or they have their cool spinner graphics and all that stuff. You know what? People know they need a, a home inspection. You know what they don't know? Why should they choose you? Okay, that's the only question they have. Okay, so what is it in, what's in it for them by choosing you? And if you can't convey that message, you don't convert. Okay, but I see website designers build stuff that's cool and slick, but it doesn't convert anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's terrible. So all of these guys are out there paying for these websites that don't convert visitors into paying customers. And they say, oh, that, you know, that's terrible. But then I'll ask somebody, I'll say, well, let me ask you this. How many leads did you get from your website last month? They say, well, I bet we got a bunch because, you know, people always say they like it. Mm -hmm. And so I'll say, well, let me ask you this. How do you know empirically how many you got? Well, I don't know. I just listen to what people are saying. And I said, well, have you ever heard of Google Analytics? Well, they hadn't heard of it. So if they have Google Analytics installed on their website, which we install and we provide our clients a report of it, it actually tells you what's happening. Okay. It tells you how many people converted. You know, you have to set up conversion goals on that on Google Analytics. So it tells you all these things.